just have a cup of coffee, then I'll go. So welcome to Coffee Time. It's been a while, right? Uh, we'll try to do this every week again. First, I want to cover upcoming videos. And you can see on the board here what I've got. And I'll give a quick rundown in case you can't read it. Um, I have a video about Bogota when I had to go to Bogota. Uh, it was very enlightening. It's a Bogota that I hadn't seen before. It's changed a lot. Um, quite modern, very interesting. And I think you'll like that. The next video I have, and these may not be in this order, is Cray 23. That's the main road at the top of Manizales. That's where I live. And another video that I will be doing it's my story moving to Manizales. Now, I will tell you that there's some things that I need to take care of before I can do that video. Um, just want to make sure that I don't get myself in any kind of trouble. So, uh, probably four weeks I'll be able to do that video. In Manizales, I'll be doing a video taking a taxi from the bottom, like where the bus station is, all the way up to where I am to give you some sense of the kind of mountain climbing you have to uh, do. And today I walked down to the new mall and um, I took some video clips of that. So you'll see those uh, probably this coming week. And you will see that it's, uh, it's not just some hills, it's some pretty serious stuff. Um, most of these around here, it's almost like climbing a ladder. One of the countless steep hills. More hills. doing a video on why I love Colombia. Now I've been coming to Colombia for quite a while, I lived here 15, 16 years ago and you already know that. Um, but what is it about Colombia? Why is it one of my favorite places in the world? So I'll do a video specifically on that. I have a video on a surprise reveal and of course I can't reveal it but there will be a video coming up on that in about a month. And the last video that I have planned, these are all videos I'm working on, I'm taking clips for, and I'm planning. Uh, the last one is um, Pereira, which is the main city in the coffee region, and a very good place for expats to live, by the way. And the visa process, what I have to do to go through getting the visa, expense of it, uh, how easy, difficult is it. Uh, so I think you'll find that pretty good. And I'll be doing that one probably the end of this coming week. So that'll come up pretty soon. So these aren't necessarily in order. Please note up here where it says Columbia, and it's got an O, not a U. For some reason, everybody misspells it. It's not Columbia, it's Columbia. Okay, I want to mention, and you will find this in the uh, comment section below or the notation section or whatever that is where I put some information in uh, below this video about booking.com. Now, they don't sponsor me. Uh, this isn't an advertisement, but it is something, I use them quite a bit. I use them because it's really convenient. I don't have to commit any money for the reservations. I pay when I show up. Um, after you use them a few times, that's the way it works for you. And it allows me to search out eight, nine, ten dollar nice hotel rooms. Uh, there's specials all the time. And if you're traveling a fair amount, like I have been recently, that's really handy to get a notice saying, hey, if you're going to such and such, you can get it at half price. So I use them quite a bit. Now, 
why do you care? Well, if you find the link below, that will give you, the, when you use them the first time with that link, uh, $15 to your credit card or debit card, whatever you use. Um, they will also give me $15. So, of course, you know, by all means, do it. But you get $15. So you not only get your savings, but you get some cash. So you get a hotel room for $8, and they're giving you $15. Not a bad deal. I didn't get that because I didn't know anybody using Booking.com. I didn't know about the link. And by the time I found out, I've used, I've used it so much, I'm no longer eligible. So if you're going anywhere, not just Columbia, anywhere, uh, you might want to consider that. It doesn't cost anything to look, and I think you'll find some pretty good deals. There's a reason I use it a lot. As a matter of fact, I get better deals there than Airbnb, which I used to use a fair amount, but I really don't use it much anymore. I actually prefer getting a hotel over the Airbnbs. Less surprises. On to the topic of uh, making me some money. <laughs> Please be aware, I did open, at request, a GoFundMe account. That information is also in the link below, uh, along with uh, my Patreon account. I am asking for funds these days. Um, you don't need to do anything to watch the videos, but if you're so inclined, feel free. It's appreciated and put to use. I actually have a trip coming up that was sponsored by a very generous, anonymous person. I am considering buying either a cheap car or a motorcycle, and I'm more inclined to the motorcycle. Although in Manizales you get a fair amount of rain, not quite like Cuenca, and it's usually in the afternoon or evening, but it does rain quite a bit. Um, in Armenia, less rain, but uh, it's easy here. They're really pretty cheap. I was looking at a Yamaha that's for sale for $1,200. It's two years old. It's a two, 200 or 250 cc, I don't remember, but it's not, it's not like the smallest one. That's a pretty good bargain. That same bike in Cuenca, for example, would have been eight grand. Uh, plus there's a lot more taxes there. It's a lot more difficult to basically just get set up to drive. And then you've got these kind of crazy traffic laws that you know, for the most part, it would be okay, but if you got caught up in any of them, you can sit in jail for a few days. So, I, I never bothered there. Public transportation's good. Public transportation is every bit as good in Colombia. In some ways, even better. I, I love the small bus idea. So, they're, they're more frequent and less traffic problems. But, I still don't care for buses. Taxis are pretty much the same cost, unless you're in a big city and you've got to go a long distance, um, then of course it's going to get more expensive. But the minimum rate is about a dollar thirty, and most places you go are going to be around that area. And that's that's here, Armenia. So in other words, taxis are comparable to the people in Ecuador that uh, or considering going to Ecuador that have asked me about this. So public transportation is plentiful, it's easy, but there are some, if, if you can get yourself a little motorcycle, a scooter, or a cheap little car for not a whole lot of money and not a whole lot of bureaucracy to get it, um, I might just do that. I might do that. So uh, I'm thinking about it. I'll let you know. Now, I want to mention one of the downsides of living in Manizales. Coming through, I noticed on the way through, all the way from Cali to uh, Pereira, you see watermelon stands everywhere. Huge things that you know have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these watermelons. And the watermelon here is, oh my God, it's so delicious. They have great watermelon. And other fruits, of course. I happen to love watermelon, it's my favorite. And one of the problems I had in Cuenca is you could get watermelon, they don't grow them there, they would ship them up. But 
you don't really know until you open it how it is. You know, it might be too old, it's all cracked, maybe orange inside. Some are delicious, some are not. It was like rolling a dice. And one of the things I love about Colombia is when you get a watermelon, it's always good. I've never had a bad watermelon. And in Armenia, they sell on the street these big plastic cups. And they stuff it with these long square rectangles of watermelon. And there'd be a whole big bunch of it. I don't know what it would equal, at least a huge slice. And it comes to 2,000 pesos, about 70, 60, 70 cents. Um, I mean, you gotta love that. But here in Manizales, a lot of things aren't shipped here. It's, you're climbing up a, a, a mountain and the, it's not necessarily the most profitable thing to do. They have all these watermelons, they can ship them off to Medellin and every, you know, everywhere. Why go through that hassle? So you can find watermelon here, for example, but it's mostly in the more expensive supermarket, Caruja, uh, which I was, I was told by a local that only rich people go there. Um, it's not really that, but it's like a, it, it's similar to a super maxi, maybe even a little more pricey in some things, where you can go to other very nice stores and get uh, much better prices. Overall, the prices are considerably better than in Cuenca. But if you want good fresh fruit, Manizales isn't really the place, but you can go an hour on the bus or 40 minutes on the bus to Pineda and you have all the fresh fruit in the world because they grow it everywhere around there. So you've got, you know, vendors on the street, you've got carts rolling up and down at your, where you live, you've got it in the markets, in the supermarkets, you're going to have all these fresh fruits, papayas and watermelons and melons and peaches and mangoes and pineapples and a lot of those things are here but you know, for example, when you get a mango, there's a pretty good chance it's going to be really green. Um, it's actually hard to find ripe. So there's, there's issues with it here that you don't deal with in a lot of places in Colombia. So true to my word, my promise that I would always give you the, the good and the bad, it's, that's something that's really disappointing. Um, even when I went to Bogota, between Manizales and Bogota, there is a valley area where it gets decidedly much warmer, even though Bogota is very high in the mountains and, and Manizales is high, it just kind of goes down. And in that valley where it's very tropical, it's very warm, and you saw the same thing, endless watermelon stands. So it's not that far from here. But they go to Bogota apparently. Um, so another thing to consider when you're uh, relocating. Another reason why Manizales really is not for gringos to, to live in. And um, I know I'm gonna sound real pessimistic on this. I just have to hammer home, you know, the difficulties, issues, and problems specifically for here. Now Recently, there was some kind of poll that I read, somebody sent it to me, talking about Manizales has the happiest people in Colombia. But understand this, if, if you're solely living the Colombian lifestyle, then the things I'm talking about don't really affect you. And if you grew up here in Manizales, as most people here have, except for the students, a lot of universities and students that come and go. But if you grew up here, these hills are, it's just how it is, or these mountains, it's just how it is. But if you're coming from somewhere else, it's like, oh my God. I mean, you don't see anything like this in Cuenca or, or Quito, um, not to the extent of, of what is here. And I look forward to showing you that in some videos coming up. Um, today I did some hiking and I, you know, it wore me out just going down these hills. So. So I'm going on a short trip beginning in the morning and I will be returning to Manizales on Tuesday. I'm gathering clips as I go and uh, I, as you can see I've got quite a few videos already planned out. I've got a lot of clips ready for these videos. So 
you're going to see a lot of activity over the next month and I really look forward to a couple of these videos that will be um, a little surprising and I think actually interesting. So that's it for coffee time this week. I'll see you I'll see you next week.